is Lola, an obvious favorite. And you've met Nori before. Nori, say hi. July favorites. So this is just kind of a mixture of all the things that I've really been loving this month. I only have one hair product and it is this. The container is kind of weird. But it's the Garnier Fructis um, Leave-In Conditioning Cream. So I ran out of my Say Yes to Cucumbers Leave-In Conditioner, which I love by the way, but I, I felt like I should try something new, so I picked this up, and I actually really like it. The difference between this and the Say Yes to Cucumbers is this is a little bit less heavy, so I feel like my hair has kind of gotten um, the chance to curl up a little bit more, where the other one was kind of weighing it down just a little bit, um, but I really love the lightness of this, and... I just really like it. It's for frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair. It's sleek and shine. So it does make my hair a little bit more shiny and I just really enjoy it. My main face thing that I've been absolutely loving this month, especially for just summer all around, it's this Leo Welly BB Cream. I actually heard about this through Bentley Blonde, who is one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, she's so funny. She's so fantastic. I will link her channel below. She does she does this huge overview on all BB creams. Um, but just really quickly, what it is is it's a it's a product that kind of has everything in one. So it's your sunscreen, your skincare, your, like your foundation. It stands for blemish balm. So it's just supposed to be really all in one. But it is a little bit light. But when it goes on, it goes on like really pale. And then it kind of just like sets to your skin tone. I like the coverage and the feel of it. I just really like it all around. The next product is this Laura Geller. It's the Blush and Brighten in Apricot Berry. It's just this really beautiful, shimmery, pinky, gold, I don't know, but it's a blush and a highlighter in one. It's perfect for summer where you don't want to use a thousand products. You can just sweep it on your cheeks. It gives you a really natural glow. Um, I, I just really, really love this. And I got this in my birch box a couple months ago. This is the Beauty Blender. And this is an amazing makeup sponge. I will link my video, my review video on it down in the, um, whatever, bottom bar. Um, but I absolutely love this product. You get it a little bit damp and you can put on your foundation with it and it just gives you this really beautiful all over complexion. Um, I absolutely love it. I, I highly recommend it. It is a little bit pricey um, for a sponge at least. I think it's around 20 bucks um, at Sephora, but I love it. Um, when I walked by it at iMats, I had to have it, and it's the Lime Crime. Look at how gorgeous this packaging is. It has this really glittery unicorn on it, and the color is in Great Pink Planet, and it's this cool toned pink. Um, I'll just do a little swatch for you here. Uh, I'm actually wearing it right now. And, um, I don't know. It's very opaque. You don't need to apply a ton. I just think it's really pretty. It feels very nice. Um, I, I really like this. Um, next thing is another lip product, and this is from e.l.f. This is a luscious liquid lipstick, and it was only a dollar from the drugstore. And this is in the color Pink Lemonade, and I just, I love this liquid lipstick. It's like a lipstick, but like a lip gloss, and it's very neutral, and it ha it's a pink with like a little bit of a gold sheen to it. Um, it's really beautiful. I love the way it feels. I really love everything about it, and for a dollar, you cannot beat it. My next favorite is this Inglot... And it's the Gel Eyeliner in 77. It's just a really black eyeliner. This is by far the best gel liner I've ever used in my entire life. And I absolutely love it. It's black. It's true, true black. It stays on all day. Um, 
I just really, I really, really recommend this. And it makes a great base. It's really creamy, but it sets, doesn't move. Um, I, I really recommend this if you're interested in gel liners at all. Um, and then the last makeup product is my NARS Laguna Bronzer. And I actually hit pan, which is crazy because I have so much makeup, I'd never hit pan. I never really hit pan. I usually get bored with something or move on to something new before I ever get to this point. And I just absolutely love this bronzer. There's not too much shimmer in it. It does have a slight, slight, slight shimmer. Um, to me, it's almost not noticeable, but I know a lot of people feel like there's a lot of shimmer in it, which is wrong, but whatever. Um, so I really love that. This nail polish is really near and dear to my heart. Um, the actual container's a little bit effed up and there's nail polish on it, but it's a beautiful, bright, corally, orangey, pink color, and it's called Cajun Shrimp, and it is probably my all-time favorite nail polish. This is what I wore on my toes for my wedding. Um, it's just a beautiful, summery, bright, fun color. I just absolutely love it it's I don't I don't even know I just love it so much um, I just love it and then my last random favorite is I got a nook um, this is kind of a weird screensaver um, it comes with a few of these kind of old people on it but this is so amazing I absolutely love it so easy to read on. Um, it has that e-ink screen, uh, which is, I guess there's like a layer of ink on it, and when you turn the page, the ink like rearranges. It's very easy on your eyes. It can hold a thousand books, which I'm not the biggest reader in the world, but I do enjoy the occasional book. And this is great for reading outside, for inside. It's so thin. Um, I just really love it, and if you're into reading at all, I highly recommend it. Those are, that's it for my favorites for the month of July. I had a really great month. I hope you guys did also. Don't forget to check out my blog at GourmetGlitterati.com. Please subscribe for more videos, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.